All right, everyone. Today we're eating because I'm doing a marathon, and when I do marathons, I usually order food and then we eat together. Today I opted to not order from any kind of a crazy restaurant or anything nearby, but instead to order from a chain. It's a chain that I have not eaten at in many, many years, actually. I, I can't even tell you the last time I ate at this place. I'm trying to remember in my head. I don't remember, okay? Um, and people are speculating what it is, all right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to warn you, forewarn you. This is going to be underwhelming. This is probably going to be one of the most disappointing feasting with fills that we've ever done together, all right? Just to show you what I got for what I paid, all right? But we're going to try it. I'm going to eat all the food. I'm hungry. I'm very hungry. So we're going to eat all the food. So first, allow me to present all of it to you. And of course, people are immediately going to know what it is. You ready? So what is it? Who knows what this is? I know someone's going to say it in the chat right now. Okay? There you go. They hit it right on the head. It's Panera Bread. It is an American chain where they sell baked goods such as bread. This is actually a piece of like a baguette. Okay? They also have sandwiches, soups, um, salads, among other things. In the morning, they sell like fresh bagels and baked goods for breakfast. They do breakfast sandwiches and stuff like that. Um, but they do other things as well. Okay? So what I opted for was a combo. Now, I'm going to be honest. Originally, what I wanted to order, I wanted a sandwich and a soup. They would not deliver soup. They would not deliver soup. It was not on the menu. The only thing they would deliver is mac and cheese. So they would not give me an a soup. I would have loved to have some soup, but they didn't offer it for some odd, weird deal. I don't know why. Okay. So I got a half and half combo. Basically, I got a sandwich and a salad. Okay. So what it's supposed to be is a half sandwich, half salad. All right. So if you take a look at this, all right, and you're like, okay, so what did you get? It looks like a lot of food on that plate. Well, it does right now. But allow me to actually go through what's on here and tell you how much it cost. <laughs> okay? So a Panera Bread meal. Let's go through it. First of all, you've already seen I selected a piece of French bread baguette. It's actually hard, which means it probably was made this morning or maybe yesterday because it feels pretty darn hard. It doesn't feel soft or anything. So I'm wondering, you know, how how is this? It, I, it smells okay, but I'm a little a little worried it's kind of outdated or old, okay? Okay, so what do I have for my salad and my sandwich? Well, this is my salad. Now, keep in mind, this is supposed to be a small size or side half salad. This is a chicken Caesar salad, which includes lettuce, croutons, seasoned chicken, and uh, Caesar's dressing. Supposedly. Now, it's also supposed to have Parmesan cheese. But I'm looking at it, and all I see is Parmesan that it appears they put at the bottom of the salad. Uh, you're supposed to sprinkle it on top? It looks like they put it in there first. So now to get any cheese, I'm going to have to basically, like, go crazy. Like, put the dressing in and shake it up like crazy to try to get any cheese in there. So I don't know why the cheese would be on the bottom. Unless, again, they made this a day or two ago, and it sat in a fridge... And then when I ordered it, they just pulled it out of the fridge and tossed it in the back. Because it settled in there, right? Here's my sandwich. This is absolutely, positively pathetic. This is my sandwich. The sandwich is smaller than the palm of my hand. Okay? It's light as shit. It's, it feels like air. I'm not kidding. There's no weight to this sandwich whatsoever. It's Look. Look, look how fucking high I can toss it. It's, there's no, it's, it's, it feels like it's a piece of bread in there, okay? This is supposed to be the sandwich that I ordered, half sandwich, okay? So what is it? Well, I'll reveal it to you in a moment. I'll reveal it to you, the sandwich, and you can judge for yourself if you think the sandwich is any good, okay? So this is a combo, a half sandwich, chicken Caesar, small salad, and a piece of bread. This combo cost now keep in mind I, I, have to, I should say something to be fair i have to be fair all right it's ordered for delivery when you order from any delivery app they do mark up the prices okay so probably this is a few dollars extra than what they would charge in the store so if you got this at a store what would you pay for this tiny light ass sandwich this salad and a piece of hard bread right what would you pay all right 
Think about it for a second, then I'm going to reveal. All right? People are saying I'd pay 10 bucks, 11 bucks, 12 bucks, 750. Okay? This cost roughly, and I'm just estimating because I don't know the exact price, around $18. <clears throat> yes, 18 freaking dollars for this. I thought the sandwich would be much larger. In fact, I can tell you when I used to go to this place in person, the sandwich was much larger than this. This is ridiculously tiny for what, you know, I thought it would be. I never thought the sandwich would be this light. I, I can't believe it's that small, okay? So $18, but that's for delivery. If we were to get this in person, it probably would have been like $15, okay? All right, so let's start with the thing. Let's start with this French baguette. Again, it's, I'm telling you, look, it's like hard as shit. I can't even like, like bread should be able to squeeze and it crusts up. Look at this. I can't, it's hard. Like, oh my God. So I think the only way I can eat it would be to like, I don't know, bite into it or try to rip a piece off. Let's see here. So. Let's see. It's okay. It's not bad. It has good flavor to it. But... It's certainly not fresh. You know it's not fresh bread. It's not dry. So that's good. It means it can't be too stale or anything because it's not dry. It's a shame because someone said in the chat, you know... You're supposed to dip that in soup. You're right. Like, that's that's what you would want this kind of bread for. Is to dip it in soup, but they wouldn't deliver soup. No soup was on the menu. You even said soups and sides. Like, it was, you could get half sandwich and soup or mac and cheese, and no soups were available, just mac and cheese. They wouldn't let you order soup. I wanted soup. It's okay. It's not terrible. It's not good. Oh, one more bite. Then we'll try some of the salad. It is boring. I agree. It's boring because what would you put on there? Butter? That's it. I have nothing to dip it in. Boring. Okay. So, now, <laughs> all right, it smells okay. It doesn't smell bad. Here's the dressing they gave me. Let's see if it's actually enough. Try to get it all in there. And just to be sure, I'm going to take my fork. Okay. Plastic fork that they give you. very exciting and I'm going to try to scrape out the remaining dressing and put it into the salad no dressing left behind because likely this is not enough for the salad and half the salad is going to be very dry okay now I'm just curious what this, what this dressing is supposed to be Caesar dressing 
tangy. It's got that little bit of bite, cheesy. You can taste the anchovy. So it's it's good. It's not bad. Now, how do you toss a salad like this? Right? Well, that is the beauty of them giving you the proper container. Because what you're supposed to do is reseal the salad like this. Make sure that everything is snapped together tight. And you shake. This is how you're supposed to do it. That way, you get even distribution of all the dressing throughout the salad. And you should have an equal amount everywhere. That's how you're supposed to do it on the go. At home, if you have a plate or a big bowl to toss it in, you do it there. But that's how you're actually supposed to toss salad on the go. Okay? Cool. All right. Now. Um, okay. I'm going to try it. So open it back up again. You love tossing salad, don't you? You love it. Now you can say, I saw Dark Side Phil toss his salad live on stream. You can actually say that, and it's actually accurate. It's the first time you've ever seen that before. You've seen me do it in a video before, many, many years ago for DSP Tries It. You've never seen it live on stream until today. So there you go. All right. So, Lord Prince Albert just did a super chat. He says, I can demonstrate how to toss a salad correctly. Oh, I'm sure you can. I'm sure you have lots of practice, too. All kinds of techniques, right? Motions, movements. Anyway, let's <laughs> let's continue here. Um, let's see how this salad tastes. It appears to be romaine lettuce. That's what it looks like, romaine lettuce. Okay? And let me see if I can get, like, a piece of chicken. Actually, I'll just have this. Nah. That wasn't very good. Let's try a piece of chicken with, like, a crouton. If I can get a crouton. Mmm. The chicken is surprisingly good. It is. The chicken is surprisingly tasty. But the lettuce is kind of not exciting. It's just okay. It definitely needs more dressing. That little cup of dressing was definitely not enough for this salad. The crouton is just all right. It's nothing too special. I wonder if they actually make the croutons there or... If they just buy them, right? They probably just buy them. That's pretty sad because their place is supposed to be baking everything. I bet they buy them from somewhere else. There's almost no chicken in this. So I had one piece of chicken. I've yet to get a second bite of chicken. I can't find any more. Happy Saturday, Derek. Welcome back to the stream. Yeah. How does this salad compare to the ones I used to make at my job in the 1990s? Uh, it's nowhere near as good. It's not as fresh. The chicken is not a grilled style. That, this is just chicken that's a little seasoned, but we, ours had, like, grill marks on it and actually had, like, seasoning on the chicken that made it taste super good, and this does not. The chicken's just okay. The croutons are kind of bland. And it just needs way more dressing than what they gave you. Where's all the... The chicken's on the bottom. For some reason, all the chicken... It was like on the bottom of the salad. Again, a sign that it settled in and it's probably an old salad from like yesterday.
The chicken is all right. The chicken has some seasoning to it. And when I get, eat a piece of chicken, it tastes good. But the problem is there's just not that much. Do I like anchovies? I've never had anchovies by themselves. I've only had them as ingredients in other dishes. Like, for example, it's in Caesar salad dressing. And I like it in Caesar salad dressing, but I have no idea if I would just like an anchovy by itself. The salad is just okay. It's not great. It's not terrible. It should have more dressing. And I can't taste the Parmesan cheese at all. So it's a little on the disappointing side. Okay. Do I like romaine lettuce? Yeah, I like I like different kinds of lettuce. I think romaine and green leaf are good. I think that the iceberg lettuce is like flavorless. But iceberg lettuce tastes pretty good on a burger, actually. Anyway, hold on. I'm going to throw this out. Okay. Let me get Lord Prince Albert on the leaderboard. <clears throat> Thank you for the super chat, Lord Prince Albert. Okay. All right. And uh, a little bit more bread, and then we're going to go into the sandwich, which I can't wait to see because it's so ridiculously tiny and overpriced. Wow. Do I like spinach again? I've had spinach in as an ingredient. Like I've had a spinach wrap, and a spinach wrap is good with stuff in it. I've had spinach in a salad, but I don't know if I would just want to sit there and eat spinach by itself. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's open my sandwich, and let's see if you guys can even tell what it is. Let's find out. Look at how tiny this is. It's absolutely tiny. This is like bite-sized. This is a bite-sized sandwich. This is ludicrous. This is it's supposed to be a half sandwich. This is a quarter sandwich. So they lie. It says when you order it, it's a half sandwich. This is a quarter sandwich. You can tell it's a quarter of the bread. So it's 100% a, a lie. I should have a half sandwich, not this tiny thing, okay? So let's see if you guys can figure out what this is. Ready? I know it's bright because of the camera. What do you think that is? Uh, BLT, wrong. Chicken club, wrong. Veggie, wrong. This is tuna salad. Which, it barely has any tuna salad on it. Like, the back end has tuna salad coming out. It's got, like, no tuna salad on it at all. Like, seriously, if I open this right now... Dude, there's almost no tuna salad on the sandwich. Look. There's like one daub of tuna salad on the bread here. This is this is tomato, onion, lettuce, and no tuna salad. So this entire sandwich is bread and veggies. I got completely ripped off. That's a huge rip off. And like I said, it's supposed to be a half sandwich. Why is it a quarter of bread? It's a quarter. See that, how they cut it? It's straight, straight. That's a quarter of a sandwich, not a half. What an insane ripoff.
Well, I'm going to try to eat it. And let's see what it tastes like. My veggie sandwich with no tuna on it. Well, I sure taste a lot of onion. That's about all that was in that bite. There was a very tiny amount of tuna in that bite. Let me get rid of this excessive lettuce falling off of the sandwich. It seriously looks like all the tuna's on the back. Let me just try this. The tuna salad actually tastes really good. If there was actually some on here, that's actually very flavorful. It's tangy. It's got a lot of seasoning in it. Yeah. I don't even know what they put in it. It's got a lot of salt and stuff. It's actually very flavorful. But it's, there's none on here. Like, here, I'll take a second bite. Am I even going to get any tuna? Incredibly dry mouthful. Wow. That sucks. So, you got to wonder how much this was, right? If the whole combo was $18, which it was, absolutely astronomical. Let's knock $3 off. All right, and let's say actually this combo was probably supposed to be fifteen dollars before delivery. Well, this is free. This is the side. This comes with it. They don't charge you for this. So it's just the salad and the sandwich. So you tell me this was like seven fifty eight dollars for this, for this minuscule amount of tuna salad on the tuna salad sandwich. Right? What a complete rip off. The bread is good. And they all call, they are called Panera bread. So the bread is fine. Am I going to be hungry later? Yeah, of course I am. Because this was supposed to be a filling sandwich, and it's not. It's just a piece of bread with a tiny bit of tuna salad and a ton of veggies. Every bite. I'm tasting tomato and a ton of onion and some lettuce and a little bit of tuna salad, and that's it. It's a complete ripoff. Mr. Puzzle said you made a good choice not going there for years. So the Alchemist says, it's a shame because their French onion soup is good. I believe you. I wanted soup of some sort and they don't deliver soup. I don't know why. I don't know why they won't deliver soup. That's ridiculous. Maybe it's because they can run out of soup. And if they had an online app listing soup available all day, they don't know when they run out. And it could cause a liability like second half of the day. I don't know. Well, my veggie sandwich is okay. But I actually wanted tuna. The veggies are actually fresh and actually tasty veggies, which is good. They're not soggy. They're not gross. They actually taste good. But I would have preferred some protein today in my meal. I didn't really get any. Okay. Um, What soup would I have gotten? See, here's the thing. I don't know what they have. I know they probably have chicken noodle of some sort. They probably have, like, broccoli and cheddar. They probably have French onion. 
like said, the Alchemist mentioned. But I don't know what else they have. I'm sure they probably have a bunch of soups, but it's not even on it. It's not available to order. So I have no idea. All right, Derek, see you later. Yes, my wife ordered. She ordered a full-size salad. I guess they have a new one called like a strawberry... Strawberry poppy seed salad or something like that. And that's what she ordered. I have no idea if it's any good. She's eating that right now. <laughs> I'm so sad. Where's the tuna? Where is my tuna? I'm hungry, so I keep eating, but I want I want my tuna. Airhead, have a good night. Okay. Well, I'm almost done with it. I might as well finish it, then I'll get back to my salad here. Very disappointing. Wow. Bread. Now, here's the thing. One second. If I were there in person, all right, at the very least, I would have been able to ask for more salad dressing to make this salad more appetizing. But if I had complained about the sandwich, they probably wouldn't have given me more tuna. You know what I mean? They could have been like, oh, that's that's the allotted amount of tuna salad. Like, dude, in that sandwich, there was not even one scoop of tuna. Like, you know how you have a scooper? When you serve tuna salad, you're supposed to have a scooper, and you go... Pff, pff. There was not even one scoop of tuna salad in there. That was like a daub of tuna salad that they smashed out over the half of one piece of bread, and they tossed on a ton of veggies to say that was the sandwich. That was absolutely lame. At least if I were there, I would have been able to get more more dressing, and this wouldn't have been as dry, because this is a dry salad as is, because there's not enough. I'm honestly surprised the croutons aren't better. I thought at Panera Bread, known for their bread products, that the croutons would have more flavor. But the croutons are pretty bland. They don't taste like they have any seasoning on them. Oh, yeah? Alex from Phoenix just complimented the hoodie. Said the hoodie looks good on me. I only wear hoodies 11 years after the fact that I'm, I'm given it. And only, uh, like, four years after the company goes out of business that it represents. Or in the case of the video game, I think, like, six years after the video game goes out defunct. <laughs> so. Eh. Eh. 
Kind of sucks. Not a very good meal today. I've had way better. Oh, we've had the rock wood fire pizza before. In fact, I think I've had it twice on this very show. And it's really good. It depends. I think the last time I got it wasn't that good. I think we got a veggie pie and it wasn't good. But we actually got other ones that were super good. Oh yeah, the rum buckets are cool. They give you like a little beach pail and they fill it with an insane amount of ice and some rum and some fruit and stuff like that. It's a rum bucket you drink right in the restaurant. It's nice. I agree there. Dark Gallbox says, Panera's just turning into Starbucks. Not a lot of food. Insane pricing. It, it sure seems that way. Um, Jack did a super chat. Thank you, Jack, for your first ever super chat. I appreciate that. I'm almost done with my salad. So now let's talk value. All right? I'm about to finish my meal. Is it filling? No, not really. It should be, but it was mostly bread. It was mostly bread on the sandwich. This piece of bread, the baguette. Right? Um, Protein? Almost none. Very few pieces of chicken in the salad. And almost no tuna salad on my sandwich. So... In reality, what I paid for <clears throat> was a piece of bread for the sandwich, a piece of bread for the baguette, lettuce and croutons, not enough dressing, a tiny bit of chicken. So in reality, if you look at values, realistically, what did it cost them to make the meal? Four bucks, probably. For a standard restaurant markup, how much should that really cost the consumer? Nine bucks. How much did I pay? Eighteen dollars. That's fucking America, man, right? Absolutely, insanely, ridiculously awful value. Awful. I seriously wanted more. The tuna salad is the most disappointing thing because the tuna salad tasted good for the little bit that was on the sandwich. And there was so little. So little tuna salad. And that's supposed to be what the sandwich is. That's the name of the sandwich. It was not the, bread, the veggie sandwich with a side of tuna. It was the tuna salad sandwich. Get it? Wow, here's the one reasonably sized piece of chicken in the whole salad right here. That's it. Look at that. What's going on, Arkham? Well, wow. I'm down to my last bite of salad. That's it. I'm done. I guess I'm going to eat the bread because if I don't, like, I'm hungry. I'm still hungry.
Wow. Well, I'm going to eat my bread. I'm, I'm really hungry. If I don't eat the bread, I'm going to be hungry for the rest of the night. So I'm going to tear into this bread now. Get some snacks. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll go get some uh, some whiskey. Do some whiskey shots if contributions come in. What do you think? <laughs> Panera has driven me to drink. Yes, indeed. It's Saturday. I'm just doing reacts, though. I don't have to play games today. I'm not driving. I can have some, some uh, booze. There you go. The bread is okay, like I said. Not as hard as I thought it was. I was too hard on the bread. The bread's alright. At first, the bread seemed like it was hard and stale. It's actually not. It's perfectly fine bread. The baguette is good. Is it sad to say... That the baguette was the best part of my meal. It actually was. This was the absolute best part of the meal. Now I'm thinking about it. The tuna salad sandwich was absolutely ridiculously disappointing with not enough tuna salad at all. The salad had way too little dressing and flavorless croutons. Right? This is the best part of the meal. The bread. How much would you charge me just for this? Hmm. I wonder. Okay. I'm almost done. Then we'll get back to React content. Sorry I had to eat the whole piece of bread because I wouldn't have. But I need to have something in my stomach. I'm so hungry. Oh, this is a French baguette for sure. It's not Italian style. It's French. What does it say down here? Meteor Entertainment. Adhesive Games. Probably two companies that don't exist anymore. These are the companies that made Hawken. The video game that this is an, a hoodie advertising. Wow. That meal sucked. Wow. Wow. On a scale of 1 to 5, I give the sandwich a 1 out of 5. Not a 0, but an ultimately disappointing 1 out of 5. Nowhere near enough tuna salad for a tuna salad sandwich. Way too many veggies. Only good thing about it was the bread. Um, The salad, chicken Caesar salad, 2 out of 5. All right? Not enough dressing, not nearly enough dressing for that kind of salad. And not enough chicken. And the croutons were very bland. So two out of five. The actual bread, the baguette from Panera Bread. I'll give it a, a, a 3.5 out of five. It was a little bit on the harder side at first, but once I started chewing it, it wasn't that bad. The flavor was good. Um, a little disappointing there's nothing to have it with. 
Like, they give you a little dabbit of, like, uh, or dollet, dabbit, whatever the word is, of butter. I didn't want to bring that up here and spread it on it because it was going to be too messy. But, like, that's something you would have wanted to dip in something. But they don't deliver anything that you can dip it in. <laughs> so I just had to eat it like that. A dollop. Thank you. A dollop. That's what it's called. A dollop. So, all right. So, I would say, overall, the meal gets like a two out of five. It's just not good. $18 for that? And I'm still hungry. I'm not kidding you. I'm still hungry. I That did not fill me at all. I felt like I just ate half a, a, a fucking loaf of bread and nothing else, right? So that was incredibly disappointing. I can't recommend that. If you go to Panera, don't get their tuna salad. Good lord, dude. There was so little, it's not worth it at all. What a rip. What a stingy, selfish, ungenerous portion of tuna salad on a sandwich. I've never seen such a stingy portioning for a paying customer. Like, holy crap. Right? <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> oh, I got a tip that came in here. From Dan the Man. He did a $6.66 tip. He said, hey, Phil. What's going on, Dan the Man? Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for putting up with this terrible meal. Which I was hoping was going to be way better than that, man. Wow, I'm disappointed. Okay. <clears throat> so. But my first ever time, I believe, I believe this was the first ever time, eating Panera Bread in any of my content, correct? I don't think I ever had Panera Bread before. Even on DSP Tries It or, you know, at any time. That was bad. <clears throat> I would not recommend that at all um i would say that that was very disappointing and insanely overpriced like if that come in that was a ten dollars i'd be like all right reasonable maybe reasonable for ten dollars that was eighteen dollars there was like where was the eighteen dollars you should never go anywhere spend eighteen dollars on food and be hungry never in your life should that happen if that happens they have messed up okay <clears throat> Absolutely. So, that is messed up, and I'm very upset. No, that does not include tax and tip. That was $18 base price. That's not tax. That's not tip. That's base price, $18. All right? That does include delivery, the delivery markup. So, even if this was $15, that's still too much. You understand? Sorry, Panera Bread. After this meal, I got to give you two thumbs down. That sucked. Do better. Get, do more. Do better. Provide more value. Zero value there. Big ripoff. All right. That's Feasting with Phil. Panera Bread Meal. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, whenever that may be.